Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. So it was a dreary, cold, wet, rainy day, and I thought, you know, this is the perfect day to get a bunch of stuff done in the kitchen. So I've been working on freeze-drying things for the pantry. This month I ordered several frozen vegetables and fruits from Asia Standard and I've been working on freeze drying these for the pantry. This was my second round of broccoli florets. So after I got the broccoli put away, I decided it was time to make some elderberry syrup. The last couple of mornings I've woken up with my throat feeling a little scratchy, so I decided it was time to make some of this just to be on the safe side. You can get the recipe for this on my website. I'll put a link to it in the video description down below. And yes, I know there's a typo in the Astragalus label. One of these days I'll get around to remaking it. So a little trick that I have for knowing when this is cooked down halfway is by dipping the handle of one of my wooden utensils into the liquid to see how deep it is. That helps me judge how much is cooked down. After I prepped my herbs, I resealed my jars with my handy dandy little tool, stuck them away back into the pantry. And in keeping with the theme of being healthy, I decided to start a couple more tinctures. First I started an oregano tincture. And then I started working on the golden rod that I had had drying in the pantry.
So by the time I was done setting up the tinctures, it was time to drain out the elderberry syrup from the berries. Pressing every good little drop And while the syrup is still warm, I go ahead and I add in some honey to sweeten it. Pour the syrup into some bottles and stick it in the refrigerator. Little Miss Bean likes the honey too. And then it was time to start dinner and I couldn't think of anything better on a cold, wet day than a nice, hot pot of soup. Today I decided to make beef and barley. It starts off with diced onion, added into the pot with some stew meat that I had had browning in there with some oil. Then about two quarts of beef broth. A couple bay leaves. A teaspoon of dry basil. A teaspoon of dry parsley some salt and pepper, and of course, a couple spoonfuls of garlic. Bring that up to a boil and then turn it down and let it simmer while I work on the vegetables. I peeled and diced four carrots.
and then I cut up four stalks of celery. I'll usually let the beef get started for at least a good 30 minutes because the longer the meat cooks, the more tender it'll be. But you don't want to overcook your vegetables. So this little wooden paddle that you see me using, as well as this wooden spoon, were recent gifts from my uncle. It was a nice surprise I got in the mail. He had made them for me. So after the meat has cooked for a little while, we go ahead and add in the vegetables. Put a lid on and let it simmer until they are just about tender. And then I add in the barley, about a half a cup, and this is a quick variety of barley. Sprinkle that in and just let it cook for a few more minutes until the quick barley is done. And there you go. Thick and hearty and delicious. Perfect for a cold late autumn day. Then I like to finish this off with something a little bit unusual. A sprinkling of Parmesan cheese. And there you go. Thanks for joining me here again at the homestead. My name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I'll talk to y'all next time.